When Calgarians head to the polls Monday, they have over two dozen candidates to choose from for mayor. Polls suggest that it is a neck and neck race between councillors Jody Gondek and Jeremy Farkas with Jeff Davison sitting in third. City News spoke with the top five candidates about their vision and priorities if they were elected mayor. We cannot elect uh, four more years of the same. Councillor Jeremy Farkas made a name for himself over the past four years, often going against the grain, frequently voting against tax increases and defunding police, and being critical of the arena deal. As mayor, his focus would be much of the same. And if elected mayor, I'd focus on three priorities. The first is a strong and growing economy based on financial responsibility at City Hall. The second is an open and transparent government that better includes Calgarians in the decision-making process and uh, rejects these closed-door meetings. And lastly, secure and vibrant communities through strong support for our police and other essential services. Farkas says he would hold more public forums to get a better idea of what Calgarians want, as well as lead City Hall like a cheerleader, coach and quarterback wrapped into one. Encourage and enable the other council members to bring forth their best work and to be able to allow them to uh, share in the glory. This is the most important municipal election in a generation. We have a tremendous opportunity to demonstrate our vision. GOT Gondek comes into the race with one term as councillor under her belt, as well as a decade of volunteer work in the community and on the Calgary Planning Commission. She says this work has allowed her to foster connections with the private and public sectors and made her ready to take on leadership at this pivotal time at City Hall. It's incredibly important to understand the role of the mayor as the one who convenes members of council, encourages meaningful dialogue, meaningful discussion so that the right ideas can get on the table before we go into decision making. So in order to create that kind of collaborative environment, you have to be someone who's willing to build relationships with people to understand why they ran, what are they passionate about, what do they hope to achieve, and what role do you play as their leader to help them achieve those successes for their communities? Gondek's priorities include focusing on supporting women, getting back into the workforce post-COVID, and creating a place that attracts investment and people back to the city, as well as budget reform at City Hall. Past behavior is the most reliable predictor of future behavior, and if you believe that as I do, then I should be your next mayor. Rounding out the trio of councillors looking to be Calgary's next mayor is Jeff Davison. Davison has been a very vocal champion of local businesses, and arguably his biggest claim to fame during his first term was his role as one of the leaders in negotiating the event center deal with the Flames. Experience, he said, would lend to being mayor working on complex files like the event center, bringing my colleagues together to understand what are the benefits for audience, and then moving that project forward. That's how you're going to have to work with an incredibly new council. This is a big turnover here in Calgary. But, you know, my job is to set the vision in the direction of where we're going as a city and then talk to my councillors about what did they get elected on? What did they value? And, and how do we work together to achieve that for everybody? Davison wants to make the downtown a more attractive place to live and play. I want to bring my leadership style and my uh, uh, acumen, uh, business acumen and ideas from the outside, fresh approach to the city of Calgary. After years of volunteering and collaborating in the city, longtime Calgary businessman Brad Field started showing up at council chambers, watching and learning the process, believing there was a space for him. For him, the main focuses of the campaign, jobs and the economy. Arguably, uh, none of the other uh, council members have ever been in business. They've never signed the front of checks. They've cashed checks. Uh, so I've created jobs, uh, not only here in Calgary, but in different countries around the world. Uh, I've been responsible for paychecks. He also wants to restore respect inside the council chambers. I actually believe that Calgarians deserve better in our leadership. Jan Damery comes into the race with a background in business and economics, including spending time at the University of Alberta as a lecturer and working at TransCanada Pipelines, plus lead work with the YWCA, background that sets her apart from today's politicians. They have not been able to pull their colleagues together to drive agendas forward. They have um, delayed, they've kicked issues down the road, and they've taken on half measures. So my differentiator is I know how to get things done. And I've also, because I'm an economist, figured out how to pay for these things. Damery also wants to cut down the inefficiencies at council, like long meetings, and help promote Calgary as the world leader in energy transition. For everything you need to know about City Votes 2021, head to 660citynews.com for an in-depth look at the issues and the wards before you vote Monday. In Calgary, Tara Overholt, City News.